So both sides come into this game after two very different starts to the season. Holbridge flying high at the top of the table, scoring 10 goals in two games. Last time out was a 3-0 away victory against AFC Sudbury. But for the home side, it was a 3-0 defeat against Durham Town. The home side, they need to get off to a decent start to the season by hopefully picking up a positive result tonight. Holbridge, they need to take advantage of their positive start. Come and join me as I go and speak to some of the managers. So I'm joined by Haybridge manager Stuart Nevercross. Stuart, how important tonight that your side deal with the pressure in the right in the right way, considering you're up against the side who are banging form at the moment? Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's sort of roles reversed. Um, they were struggling uh, this time last year, and we was flying. So the roles are reversed a little bit. Um, fair play to them; they've, they've uh, kept clean sheets, scored some goals along the way as well. So I said to the boys, nothing better than playing top of the league. On a, on a Tuesday night under the lights, greasy surface, let's go and get a win. Is it, is it, is it a winnable game for us? Yeah, it's a winnable game for us. So we're, 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 hopefully we're up for it and, and uh, we, we're better than what we were Saturday. Yeah. I guess when you've not had the best of starts, no. the best way to um, maintain that good level of confidence yeah. is to play the best. And obviously you've got a home game tonight against the side here. Yeah, we, yeah they're, they're similar, again, similar to us. They lost a few players, they, they brought a few players in. and. You know, they're, they're, they're looking a very good, good squad at the moment, and um, you know they've they've been together a, a, a few, you know, a few months, and, and, and it's paying off for them. Um, we're still trying to gel, trying to get the best team that we can out, and um, you know, we're, we're, you know, we'll, we'll give them a game tonight. There's no question about it. We'll, we'll give them a game, and, and uh, hopefully, we'll, we'll, we'll come out on top. Yeah. How important would you say is it to? up the performances particularly at home at the yeah. moment yeah home is, is, is very important the backing we get here is, is majorly important and uh, we need to we need to use that and uh, we haven't used that at this present time um, we need to start keeping clean sheets we need to start scoring goals and, and, and that's what both ends wins of the game either end wins of the game so um, we'll be looking tonight to get both of that get, hopefully get a clean sheet and hopefully get some goals along the way Stuart best of luck cheers bro. cheers boys so now joined by Holbridge manager Darren Manning. Darren, you must be absolutely delighted with the start your boys have made to the season, but I know you're up against the side who are at the other end of the table, but how important is it that you don't take this side lightly this evening? It's, it's massive. Haybridge are a big football club and, and I know I know Nevs will be getting into his team and they'll be looking to turn the corner as soon as possible. So we, we know we've done okay so far, but it's only two games and you don't win anything after two games. So we know we need to be at it every single game we play, every single training session, and uh, we know we, uh, we're up for a good game tonight, especially in these conditions. Yeah. Ten goals in two games, I mean, you must be absolutely delighted with that. I mean, it just shows the level of confidence that your forward players have got at the moment. Yeah, no, they're, they're full of confidence, but we, we know we need to be more clinical. We knew that from last year. We, uh, we created a hell of a lot of chances last year. We didn't take too many. So it's something that we've worked on in pre-season and it's, it's nice that it's worked so far. But like I mentioned earlier, it's only been two games. Let's, uh, let's ask that question after 38, 40 games. Yeah, I mean, whatever the outcome, it should be an interesting but also difficult game in regards to where they are on the table. But um, yeah, if, if you keep up this uh, brilliant goal scoring form that you're showing, um, I guess at this early on in the season, it's all just about taking each game yeah. by game and yeah. then just building on from that. It's exactly that. It's game by game. It's so early and, and with the uncertain time frame now as a country, you just don't know what's going to happen around the corner. So we just know we need to get as many points on the board as quickly as possible. Um, every game is three points and that's all we're aiming for. We're just looking one step at a time and uh, see where it takes us. Thank you very much, mate. Sports. We film all types of sporting events and football matches across London. We also produce a range of sports contents by using the latest video technology and editing software to ensure we provide the best filming and production services. To find out more about our packages, please visit our website at www.wdsports.com. You would also find the link to our website in the description below. Thank you. Good evening everyone and welcome to the Aspen Weight Arena for this game in the Itzmian North Division, Haybridge Swifts against Hallbridge Sports. And the Swifts will be hoping that this team can get them over the line against top of the table Hallbridge their 19th in this one as it stands and uh, they've got plenty of good players to look out for number 14 Lewis Watson for Hallbridge Sports is their top scorer so far with three and of course they sit top of the league and plenty of talent on show Akunja, Scarborough, 
definitely men to watch, but Lewis Watson is, of course, going to be the main man. Darren Manning doing a good job with his team so far this season. And this should be a very interesting contest. And Haybridge will get us underway. The home side, kicking from left to right. It's going to be a tough game for them, really. They've, they're going to have to be solid defensively, that's for sure. Well, Holbridge have a free kick, and it's hooked high into the air. That's a simple one for, Gre uh, for Mar Marsden, sorry, to punch away. But here's a Kunja. It's a strong pass, and it was difficult for his teammates to control. And now Haybridge can break forward here. It's Fenn up. Ah, his shot is blocked. Really well there, good defending. I think it was number three, Rose, who got a block on that. Well, the corner's going to be taken by Adlington Pye up. It's swung in, it's flicked on. Oh, it's in! Can you believe it? It's Jack Humphrey, I think, who's got the goal. Number six for Haybridge, and they have the lead five minutes into the game. Well, six minutes into the game, actually. So, in the sixth minute for number six... What a moment. Lovely flicked header. I think Fennell claimed that he got a touch, but he didn't. And it's Humphrey's goal. And Haybridge have the lead. Oh, Fennell straight in there. Good pressing. They've won the ball back again here. Adlington Poyle plays it on for a co. He manages to get round his man. Put it in. It's spilled. And the rebound's in. What a start for Haybridge. And it's Craddock now. Two goals in the space of a minute. And Haybridge are 2-0 up against top of the league, Hallbridge. And the battle of the bridges has had a scintillating start. What a performance so far from Haybridge. Did not expect this at all. It's the first couple of goals that Holbridge have conceded this season. It's a decent oh, well, speculative effort from Coughlin, but it was nowhere near the goal. The Holbridge have really got to wake up. Here come Haybridge again. A co. Good physicality there. Rose is really struggling against him. He's burst in here. And it's another effort, but it's gone just wide. But I tell you what. Coat is beating Rose every single time in this one. Here's Rose again. It's a decent cross as well. Oh, I think it hit the bar. The referee's given a corner. And they've said that they've. Well, it, it definitely hit the bar. The keeper didn't get a touch on that. No way. Good goal kick. I think the wind's carried it a little bit, to be fair. And uh, Peter was in a bit of trouble there, but... It's going to be a throw in, I think. <laughs> Ball's hit the assistant there. A um, little bit of uh, shenanigans going on. The referee's blowing his whistle again here. Why is he... He's called for something. We're not really sure what it is. He's speaking to his assistant. Could it be about the ball that came into contact with him? He's talking to Peter, I think it is. With the owner of a car with the number plate EK6. Oh, it's a red. It's a red card. For Peter. Well, well, well. Dexter Peter is sent off. I think it might have been for throwing the ball at the assistant. It wasn't. There wasn't much in it. But he is off. He's out of the game. That's a big loss for Holbridge. 2-0 down, down to 10 men. This is not going well for them at all. Let's have another look at it. Yeah, it is. He's thrown the ball at the assistant. At the linesman, sorry. Yeah. 
Aldridge, players getting in each other's way here and it's a decent cross, it's hooked away. Oh, and Craddock with the attempt that's gone just wide. He's already got one goal, he wants another. So Rusu's played it on for Tassoni. And it's, ah, it's miles wide of the goal, then we're going to trouble Green with that one. There's a chance for Fennel, oh, he's skipped past his man here and he's brought down. Is that a penalty? No. Well, very, very strong shouts from Haybridge there. Alan again was uh, beaten by a co who's having the run of all of the Holbridge defenders at the moment. Oh, well. uh, I'd have to say that's probably a penalty. Difficult for the referee to see though with how quickly the game's been played. They're trying to get something going here, Holbridge. It's a good punch away from Marsden. Can they hit them on the break here? It's Fennel. Plays it to a co, the danger man. And he's running in here. A co, surely. Oh, good save by Green. Smothered it well, but a co is just tearing. Holbridge apart, he's really the thorn in their side in this game. Marsden is equal to it, a uh, green, sorry. Nice passing play to be fair. And it's an effort again from distance that's gone wide there. They've had a few of those, Haybridge, but I guess it shows the confidence that's going through the team at the moment. A coat stands up Rose, sits him down again, plays it across. And another one, and it's another effort. It's over the bar. I think it might have been a Sayurusu with that one. Can break forward again here. They're looking for Fennel once more. He's done well here, Fennel. Hits it. Good save. Had to make it. Fennel is giving them the runaround at the moment. I think he might have just been striking the crossbar, but. Green couldn't take any chances. Say Arusu. Stands up his man. Uses his pace. Well, oh, it's a brilliant turn. Good shot. Oh, what a finish. That's a stunning, stunning goal from Adlington Pyle. Right on the stroke of half time. And that is a world class third goal. And you have to say, with that, probably comes the three points scintillating play what a finish that is look at this lovely turn to get away from his man and just curls it into the far corner it's a goal deserving of a higher level oh the bounce is beaten Rose and it goes in again here will he play it across he tries to Green is equal to it again but Allen and Rose just cannot contain a co whatsoever And there's the half-time whistle. And what a first half from Haybridge. 19th place before this game against top of the league. And they've been absolutely superb. Jamal Allen and Matthew Rose cannot contain Ernest Deco at the moment. He's been the main man for Haybridge. Fennell's been really impressive as well. But at the half-time break, it's a shocking scoreline. It's Haybridge Swift's three. Holbridge Sports nil. With iSports analysis, coaches, players and referees can view full copies of non-league football matches to analyse their own performances and scout the opposition before the next match. For more information and subscription details, please get in contact with WD Sports. Well, welcome back for the second half and, uh, well, maybe not welcome back for the second half. Uh, the referee has gotten Holbridge to retake the kickoff. I think we will get started now, though. And we do. 
And uh, what should be a very, very interesting second half. Haybridge with probably one of the results of the season, or the result of the season so far, if this 3-0 lead sticks. Who knows, maybe they can build on it. it will be Adlington Pyle to take the corner. It's a high one, and it's dipping. Oh, Sayu Wusu on the volley. I tell you what, that would have been some technique to get that in. Will be Adlington Pyle again. Awusu oh, cuts inside really well, plays it across, and it's a free header. And there is the goal that he deserves. Ernest Ako, probably been the man of the match for me for Haybridge, gets a free header at the back post, and he is absolutely delighted. And some of the team as well. He thoroughly deserves it in this game. He's been all over them caused all sorts of problems and that's great movement and positioning in the box as well finds himself in space and it's a brilliant header Holbridge trying to get least to get something and that's a well that's a poor effort I think it's gone out the stands actually uh, someone might have got their car hit it certainly didn't hit the target it's a good goal kick as well the wind is really carrying those oh that's a strong challenge I think it looked decent at first but I don't know, I think it's a strong one. Could be a booking here. Adlington Pyle is uh, claiming that it's a bit soft. Oh, goodness me, there's a, there's a bit of push in it. Oh, we don't want to let things get overboard here and too heated. And the referee is trying to defuse the situation. And uh, McFadden is speaking to the referee I think it is a yellow card for McFadden Craddock is there as well the two captains having a discussion Rose and Craddock, uh, Craddock. it will be a free kick it's whipped in by Allen and uh, oh, I wasn't Allen sorry but the goalkeeper's had to save it anyway Marsden hasn't had too much to do but he's done it fairly well and a clean sheet would certainly be a fantastic result considering Hall concede, I think, uh, scored I think it was about 11 goals in their first two games so this would certainly be an impressive result for them here's Ako again Rose tries to stand him up but Ako is in there again it's deflected through it's pulled back across and Fennel gets in on the act now as well and he gets his just rewards. Goes over to hug someone in the crowd. Might be his friends. And he's got a goal. And it's five. And it's a five-star performance from Haybridge. Simply superb in front of goal. Holbridge haven't had a moment's rest. And it's another brilliant bit of play from Ako and Asayu Wusu. Co Fennel, Adlington, Pyle and Asayu Wusu have just been brilliant for them today. Here he is again, Ako, and it's over the bar. The free kick is going to be taken by Cochlin. Whips in, it's a good header. That's just wide. <laughs> Marsden dives for it. I don't think there was uh, any need for that. A little bit dramatic. You like to see it though from goalkeepers. It's a good bursting run here. Ooh, and I tell you what, a little bit of a mix-up there between Humphrey and Marsden, but it's gone wide. It's closest Holbridge will probably come to a goal. Corner's going to be taken into the middle of the area. Oh, it's a shot on the turn from right, but it's good. it's blocked, and obviously they're struggling to get past their defence. And there is the full-time whistle. What a result for Haybridge Swifts. And 19th before this match. And they've moved up a few places now. Holbridge go down to third. With a real, real shock performance. A clean sheet for Haybridge as well against a team that are the top scorers in the league. And a fantastic performance. Especially from Ernest Ako, Adlington Pyle, Fennel, Asayu Wusu. 
and the defence as well. McFadden, Gulliver, Tassoni, Nkosi. Marsden was good as well. Hallbridge, though, need to look at themselves and regroup after this one. It's a poor, poor result and a poor performance from them as well. But a fantastic result for Haybridge. And it really is the result of the season and a real, real upset. And it's finished here at the Aspenway Arena. As I've said before, Haybridge 5. Holbridge nil. Go. So Holbridge, top of the table before tonight. Haybridge, second from bottom. 5 0 victory to the home side and an absolutely terrific display. Some fantastic goals, particularly in the first half. 3 0 up at half time, more or less out of sight. Second half, Haybridge, so calm and collective on the ball. Every time they came forward, it looked like they were going to score. Hopefully, this is just one little blip for Holbridge. If they're going to have these, it's better they have them earlier on in the season. Hopefully, it's a platform to build on. But Haybridge, hopefully, this is the start of many good things to come and their season can properly kick off from here. 